Tina, have you ever wondered about the incredible life cycle of honeybees? Well, I know they make honey, but I've never really thought about how they do it. Tell me more, Alex. Sure! Honeybees are fascinating creatures, and their life cycle is nothing short of amazing. It all starts with the queen bee. The queen bee? Tell me more. Yes, Tina. The queen bee is the heart of the hive. She lays thousands of eggs throughout her life. The first stage in the life cycle of a honeybee is the egg. Eggs, you say? How do they look like? Honeybee eggs are tiny, oval-shaped, and white. They're placed in the honeycomb cells, where worker bees take care of them. These eggs hatch into larvae in about three days. Larvae, got it. What happens next? The worker bees feed the larvae a special substance called royal jelly. This food helps the larvae grow rapidly. They go through several stages of development, shedding their skin to get bigger. That's quite a process. What happens after the larvae stage? After the larvae stage, they enter the pupa stage, where they undergo metamorphosis. During this time, they're sealed in a cell, and their bodies change dramatically. They become adult bees. So, they go from tiny eggs to adult bees in this pupa stage? Yes, Tina, exactly. It's like a magical transformation inside those cells. When they emerge as adults, they're either worker bees or drones. What's the difference between worker bees and drones? Worker bees are female and make up the majority of the hive. They do all the work, like foraging for nectar and pollen, building the hive, and taking care of the young bees. Drones, on the other hand, are male bees. Their main purpose is to mate with a queen bee. I see. So, what happens to the queen bee in all of this? Great question, Tina. The queen bee is special. She's the only one in the hive, and her sole job is to lay eggs. She can lay up to 2,000 eggs in a single day. And she releases a pheromone that keeps the worker bees loyal to her. That's quite a responsibility for the queen bee. Indeed, Tina. Without the queen bee, the hive can't survive. Now, let's talk about the final stage in the honeybee life cycle, which is one of the most important parts of the foraging and pollination. How do they go about collecting nectar and pollen? Worker bees leave the hive and fly to flowers, where they collect nectar with their long, tube-like tongues and store it in their honey stomachs. While doing so, they also pick up pollen, which sticks to their bodies. Ah, so that's how they pollinate flowers. Exactly, Tina. As they visit different flowers, they transfer pollen from one flower to another, aiding in the pollination process. This helps plants produce fruits and seeds. So, honeybees are essential for our environment too. Absolutely. They play a crucial role in our ecosystem. And when they return to the hive, they regurgitate the nectar and let other worker bees turn it into honey through a process of evaporation and storage in honeycomb cells. That's how they make honey. Yes, Tina. And it's incredible to think that one single worker bee produces only about one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in her entire life. Honey bees are truly remarkable creatures. I had no idea about their life cycle and all the hard work they do. I'm glad I could share this with you, Tina. They're not just honey makers, they're essential pollinators and a testament to the wonders of nature. Thanks for teaching me about honey bees, Alex. I have a newfound respect for these tiny, buzzing insects. <laughs>